Hello, Jody from Bird Dog Overland. Today we're going to review the JCR spare tire basket with our traction boards mounted on, so let's go. All right, so I'm not going to go step by step because the instructions on this, this is a pretty simple, easy. So this is just one leg. So as you can see in the instructions here, and you pretty much just follow it. I mean, it's pretty easy to set up. These two are the sides. This is the roof. And then over here, we have the actual side of it. And these two will be opposite each other and that mountain into that. Like I said, anyway, I'm just going to show you highlights instead of showing you every single boat going in because, like I said, if you even basically just follow the instructions, it's pretty self-explanatory. You don't even need supervision to help, you know, my supervisors here. All right, so we got it all installed. Took very little time, maybe 20, 30 minutes of that. It's just basically putting the bolts and the nuts and the washers in the appropriate spots. All right, hopefully the background noise is not too bad. But anyway, so I got this thing set up here just like I wanted. As you all know from a previous video, I did relocate the Oracle. Put the Oracle brake light back there. You can see it barely, probably. And we lowered the spare tire back down. So there is a slight gap there. It says about a quarter of an inch. It's probably a little less than that, but I'm not going to fret it. Uh, but I've got these, so you undo these bolts, six bolts on each side. And you spread the bridge out, so to speak. You spread that side out. You spread that side out to make it where it sits where you want it. Then you tighten them all up. So this is how it's going to sit when it's strapped down. So the straps that come with the kit will not work with my wheels. So I'm having to go to Harbor Freight, or not Harbor Freight, but uh, Menards, to get ones that'll fit through those holes. Because otherwise I have no way of strapping this to the spare tire. You know, I don't plan on putting a lot of weight on this, but with the hammer built kit, I can probably throw a tin on there, maybe a pop-up shelter, something along those lines. So anyway, next we'll be putting on the Max Trax mount, and then we'll be done. All right, so I have to excuse the dirt on this bracket because this is used. I never cleaned it after I took it off of the hammer built side mount. So, anyway, I measured on both sides just to make sure I had it symmetrical because most CD like that. You can see here where the old mounts for the uh, old bracket was on the uh, hammer built. But anyway, so I took all these leftover butt head bolts from a JCR bumper kit and I bought the nut lock. But I put some rubber washers in there. It does bow it. I know you can't see it from the a little bit as you tighten it in a little bit. But I figure I try to keep the metal all metal off of it. So anyway, so I got those measured perfectly. And as you can see, so this this thing focuses. As you can see, we have this thing mounted perfectly up against the rack. So. You know, now we just got to slap the rack back on. I've got it on the bed here for right now. Let's slap the rack back on, and then we will mount our max tracks on, and then we should be ready to go. I didn't want to put the max tracks in the top like the JCR uh, website photos have because I wanted to use that space for other stuff. So just want to show it to you guys real quick. All right, so we got this thing on. Now, it doesn't have anything in the top just yet. I do have a Pelican case I'm going to put up there, and you'll see a video on it later. So uh, you do hook these straps. I had, like I said, to buy different ones because the other ones you couldn't separate out. I also put a strap on each side here, going around the bottom of the tire. The directions specifically don't say what to do with the straps. I'm going to have to get some cushions to fit behind here just to make sure this doesn't dig into that wheel on both of these sides here. But there's another hook up here. I don't know if you can see it. Those are those spots. We have some cables on here to keep the nefarious Darawillers, as uh, Wonder Lost used to say. But anyway, so I got the rocks brackets uh, bracket for the Max Track screwed in on the back of this, as you all seen in the earlier video. It does sit a little higher than I would probably prefer it to, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, I think it's fine. It'd be nice if it sat a little lower and. Uh, if hammer build ever gets me their uh, traction board mount for that, I might be able to incorporate it up there too. So who knows? You can't put 
Rotopax on the end of these. I probably won't. I don't have Rotopax currently, but if I do get them, I'll probably put them down here on this thing. Uh, I can't imagine I'll ever get it because I don't go on, I don't say gone that long. Flagpole that I put in earlier perfectly clears it. No, no gap there. You can see on the back there where those hooks fit in. You can see where that traction board mounts up there. Like I said, I wish I could get it lower down. If I come up with a better solution, I'll let you guys know. As you can see here, it's in there. You got the max tracks secured down with that rope. We also got the carrier itself secured here with another locking rope. So, you know, is it possible for somebody to break it off and seal it? Yes. But it's going to take them a little more time than they want to probably. So anyway, I want to share this with you guys real quick. Can't wait to get this on the trails.